please join us in celebrating the grand opening of Best Friends Pet Care at Walt Disney World! I just want to say that we are delighted to be here and Best Friends, our entire team, has been looking forward to this day for a very long time. We think you'll see that this is a very special place. This is one of our VIP, very important pet suites. Um, we have four of these. This is pretty much penthouse, posh, top of the line. Um, we are actually booked on these every weekend from now until Christmas. Um, they have their own private canine turf patio area. There's a little tykes out there for them to, to romp and play. We also have webcams in these four suites, so owners can go on our website and see what the babies are doing. We purposely built um, a doggy eye level TV. We will play all sorts of music, Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, all doggy movies. So they can sit back on their lush, comfy bed, watch TV, and there are a slew of amenities that are included in these accommodations. They get two walks with us outside, they get two play group sessions, it's a dog setting, they get to play with other dogs. Um, they also get, after three nights of boarding, a free go home fresh bubble bath. Um, so this is pretty much top of the line. There's a personal concierge for these four VIP suites. <laughs> Moxie! Oh, here she goes! The facility is 17,000 square feet under roof and air conditioned. There's another 10,000 square feet under roof, not air conditioned, where pets can spend time outside, right outside their suite on their outdoor patio. Uh, we provide uh, accommodate, accommodation for over 300 pets. Our uh, regular dog suite is either all indoor or indoor outdoor. And again, as I said, they're more than twice the size of what's been available at the kennels at Disney World uh, up until today. <laughs> Uh, is this only for Disney Resort guests? No, it is not. We certainly give priority to Disney Resort guests, but people who live locally can certainly come in and, and leave their pets with us, and we'd be, be more than happy to take care of them. We'd love to have them. This is our pocket pet room. We felt it was important to have a separate room for the, the pocket pets, so they're not in with the dogs and with the cats. They have their own little sanctuary, quiet. Um, without the smells of the, of the other pets as well. So we take all kinds. Um, the only thing that we would not be able to accept would be primates nor anything venomous. We also have for dogs who are staying overnight, we have a surprise for our guests where they're going to get an email update picture of their pet while they're here at the resort with us. Uh, so uh, they will see that and that's, we frankly haven't told them that, I'm now letting them know that we'll be doing that. For our day guests, we won't have the opportunity to get the pictures out to them in time, but for anyone staying overnight, they will get at least one picture of their pet with us. So even if they can't come over, they'll see how the pet's doing. Well, for our cats, our kitty city is at the front of the building. It's far away from the dogs. They will not be bothered by any canines whatsoever. We can accommodate 24 cats. Our standard accommodation is our two-level kitty condo. We house 24 kitties. Um, I am a huge fan of these condos. These are any cat size friendly. I myself have a 25 pound cat. She has stayed here. It functions so well. Um, it's a three room condo. They have a private elimination area for their litter box. And then they have two levels to hang out. So little Kayla, she's getting her grooming done today. Um, we take all sides, all breeds. We do everything from a simple bath on a beagle or a chihuahua to an extensive standard poodle breed cut. <laughs>